Hello. Welcome to another how-to video from Yokogawa. My name is Larry Wilson and I'm the design engineer for the Yokogawa MLX loop powered process indicator. Today we will discuss setting the number of decimal points on the MLX loop powered process. Hello. So let's get started. We're going to set the number of decimal places on the MLX first. So to do that, we need to get into the menu system. So we will depress the black button here, which is the menu button. And when we do that, we see setup appear on the character screen below. At that point, we will press the enter key. We have four four buttons here on the front. Last, next, enter, and exit. Last takes us to our previous menu. Next takes us to the next menu. Enter accepts the value, the menu screen that we're currently sitting in. And exit takes us back to measurement mode. So at this point, we have uh, setup showing that's what we want, so we will press enter. And when I say press enter, these are all touch buttons, so we're really touching. There is no pressing. Now the display is scrolling calibrate across it. We don't want to calibrate yet, so we will touch the next key. And we get engineering units. So. At this point, we're not ready to do that yet. We're going to do decimal points. So I'll touch once more, response, and response is whether or not we want linear or square root. Indicators allows us to turn on the indicators on the display, such as uh, pressure, uh, bar graph. And now we have decimal points. And we do want to set the number of decimal points. So we press touch enter at that point, And zero is showing. We have a choice of zero, one, two, or three decimal places. And the number will be determined by the maximum zero span, the maximum span setting. For example, if we're setting uh, our span at 10,000, there are six digits available to display. 10,000 will use five of those digits. So we only have one left to be a decimal. So if your maximum span is 10,000, your maximum number of decimal points is zero. So for this example, we will say that, that we are going to do a maximum span of 10,000. So we want one decimal place. So zero is showing. We'll hit next. Now one is showing. That's what we want. So now we'll touch enter. The display now says decimal point equals one. And we're done. At this point, we can press exit. And we're back to measurement mode, showing one decimal place. This concludes another how-to series from Yokogawa. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit, visit us at www.yokogawa.com/us. Thank you.